You'll be out on these bodies of water and, and know that no one's fished it before you for weeks, months, years, uh, decades. And uh, the next time you go to that spot, uh, the tracks you see will be yours and yours only. That sense of being in true remote wilderness is what uh, inspires me about this place and excites me to share it with others. Stonefly Guiding Company is based out of Revelstoke and we focus on custom experiences into the back 40 where we get out away from the crowds by a truck, by foot, in a boat and by helicopter. There's no denying that uh, helicopter fishing is probably one of the most exciting and you get to see how raw the landscape is and how untouched so many places are. Just being able to fish so many different places that we wouldn't be able to fish in a day, let alone a, probably a week of exploring around here was pretty amazing. So about a 12 minute flight from Revelstoke, we cross over these alpine passes with pocket glaciers and an endless sea of peaks all around us, 360 degrees of peaks. And we descend into a, this remote river valley and land uh, beside this incredible pool, deep pool with an inflow creek in it. And it's perfect bull trout water. So it's a pretty special experience. Going to like new places and, and exploring new waters is kind of one of my favorite things about fly fishing. This valley is incredibly beautiful and this, this region is unique in that it's the world's only inland temperate rainforest. Big trees, big fish, big rivers. Revelstoke is the center of the universe for heli skiing and cat skiing and backcountry ski touring and that's kind of what we've been known for for uh, probably close to 40 years. And what I've seen in the last few years is people are discovering this place for a lot more. And one of the things that we're seeing is that people come here and they fall in love with the breadth of experiences that you can have, uh, whether it be in the mountains, on the water, in the wintertime, in the summertime. There's just a ton to offer here. The access to wilderness is incredible. It's been really cool to hang out with Paula, who's obviously an incredibly accomplished angler and guide and to just land in a place, put us on water, and then see her kind of see the potential there and see her work the water and to see her discover kind of what we have to offer here. I think what I love about spay casting is you are just casting and swinging, but in between each swing, you have time to, to kind of relax and, and take in everything that's around you. All season long, we're, we're putting clients into fish, so to be able to step aside and, and kind of have a little bit of time to yourself and, and connect with the fish personally, then it's, it's a big break. It's, it's a good, good mental check for, for all of us guides. There's a lake that through happenstance and a little bit of uh, good luck, I was able to discover in the last few years, and it's uh, the biologist that did fish surveys in this lake said that the They'd never seen anything like it. You land and it's like going back in time because there really is no evidence of human activity. There's no roads, there's no cut blocks, there's no footprints. And uh, this tiny little lake in the back end of this valley has got uh, loads of, of bull trout in it. It's a very special place. Every year I spend more of my time in these waters with different people. and. And as the season goes on and winter's coming, not only am I excited about winter, but I'm also excited to discover more next year. I think it's an endless journey for me here. I'm always discovering new water, new places, and uh, I think like 50 years from now, I'll still be discovering gems in this place.